departments. If you look at uh, this institution, your, your organization, yeah. you guys have about seven or eight values that I love. That you know that I saw when I was coming in, and I actually took a picture of it. It's got professionalism. It's got integrity. It's got teamwork. Those are custodian of values. Mm -hmm. Meaning, when you come into this place, if you mm -hmm. want to be a part of the talk, uh, talk uh, Lagos Talk FM, yes. then you have to behave like this. Mm -hmm. If you violate these values, you are not behaving like us. If you violate these values consistently, you are not one of us. Mm -hmm. So they let you go. So no matter how well, how good you're a talker you are on radio, if you violate our values, because we are custodian of values, you are supposed to be let go. Okay? So if so if you just put that again, the, the seven custodians of values, mm -hmm. your family, education, religion, society, corporates, regulatory, and government. These are all the people who are supposed to state values, teach values, and uphold values. That's absolutely fantastic. So would you say that these institutions have lived up to their responsibilities? Uh, you, as know, you, you, you know, you know, and I don't think that anyone will say that. Hmm. And I think that part of the things that we started losing it was when and at the family values level, when fa parents began to, you know, this hustle and, yes. and there was a time when the father will go and hustle and the mother will take care of the home mm -hmm. and therefore put the values that they've acquired over time and they've decided that the values, strong values, they will, they will say it in, 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 in proverbs and they will say, not your manity, one she, or you know, remember whose child you are yes. or whatever it is. And, and those were values that, well, that's how we were passing values. But then when daddy went to work yeah. and will leave to beat traffic, he leaves her home at 6 a.m. Mommy goes to work, but that is the one that drops her off. And it is auntie from the village that mm. we brought. So she, auntie from the village started teaching the child that is in in the, you know, and they started to, so it, so where you see a family uh, uh, lose its values, mm -hmm. then that became the, 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 the one of the most important things. When daddy started telling the child to tell the person that picked up the phone um, that daddy's not here oh, when wow. the child heard daddy say i'm on my way but he saw that daddy was getting ready to go into the bathroom oh wow uh -huh. that, so that was as when, little as that, that little things when the child saw daddy take the pedestrian lane to overtake all the people that were standing in the queue that the child was learning something and then you then go from there to, to school. And then the teacher started asking. The teacher didn't come in on time, even though the child came in early. And then the teacher didn't come in on time for their lesson. Yes. And then the teacher came in, and after some time, the teacher was saying, oh, this one is a child of somebody, my, if my favorite child, because mm -hmm. the mother of that child comes and gives the teacher something. And then the teacher started asking for, for, for money to be able to make sure that they do special lessons for one child. You know, so that there's no social justice in that. And then you went to the organizations and you had to bribe your way to be able to get a job or you had to know somebody. And then you went to, and so when you look at it and then you look in the government and you hear all these horrendous things that are happening on a daily basis. You see one, one, one administration will say, you know, there are a list of people who have stolen and those people are still walking the streets. Nobody has said, and you accuse them as a government that these guys have stolen and they are still walking the streets. And they, you know, or you see, a, like I said, a governor. That, that, that was accused of stealing. Yes. They found money in his house. They, they found it. They, 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 in fact, they even jailed one governor mm -hmm. and then came back and then you saw that the people, the government didn't do anything about yeah. it. The people said it is our money that they stole. What's your problem? Mm. That, those things are very confusing for young people. So I, I really want to, I really, I feel so sorry for young people today because I think young people are very confused in Nigeria. They don't know what to do because it's no longer funky for you to do the right thing. And those who are doing the wrong thing seem to be the one exalted. But we have to change it, mm -hmm. and we will change it. All right, now speaking about, you know, how corruption and maybe stealing has been redefined, mm -hmm. you know, for instance, if a certain governor happens to take a certain amount of money, his people begin to support him mm -hmm. and, you know, give excuses for it, mm -hmm. you know, just sort of like redefining it. How do you think nepotism and favoritism has affected our value system and the fight of corruption? Oh, absolutely, in every way. In every way, because you, you see, we, we went from a place of understanding that people went into positions of authority to serve. We, we started seeing them going into positions of authority to rule and to loot. Mm -hmm. And so what then happens is when once we got it that this position is for ruling and looting, then we started saying our time has come for 
us, our child, to be the one that will be there, that will loot for our people. Not to serve everybody, but to loot. So you hear people say, it is our time. And then they want to be able to... And in fact, do you know that for many people, in, you know, if who don't have very strong values, if you go into a yeah. government office and you come out and you have not built house that you cannot, supposedly your salary cannot afford, your own people will come and ask you that what is the problem. Yes. And so the whole concept of nepotism and all of those favoritism, it now had gotten to a point where for you to protect yourself in government, you better bring your own people around you and make sure that they are the ones so that when you steal, they will not talk. And number two, when you steal, you can collaborate with them. And so that's the kind of thing that has happened because the value system had gone away from merit, from excellence, from service, to becoming something that people were looking at, how do we loot? How do we, you know, take what is, what is not ours? And all of that. Look, I'll give you a very practical example. My grandfather was the head of Western Region Scholarship Board in the 1960s. Okay. All right? My father graduated from University of Ibadan with a first-class degree. It was even put inside papers, my father. His father, that's my grandfather, was the one responsible for sending every Nigerian child of, from Western region abroad. My grandfather never signed for my father to get a scholarship. Oh, wow. Because he said, I don't want them to say it's because you are my son. Mm -hmm. Even though he got a first class. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. My grandfather later left that, that, that role and became the one who was in charge of allocating the, the you know, plots of land in Bodija Estate in Ibadan. My grandfather never took one plot of land for himself. All that he has from Bodija is one street. Now, I'm sure there are many people that are listening to me and say, Oh, more that guy, now nah, don't go, man. That guy, now nah, nah, goes D, man. You know? But, but guess what? Because the integrity was drawn into our family. From when, before my, when my father was growing up, my father never looked at his father and said, This guy, now nah, go, Say, mm -hmm. this guy, no, even just get him. Nah, this now nah, this guy is slow. No. Till today, I am so proud that my father only has a street in, a, in an estate that he was the one that allocated everything. I'm proud of it because those values that my grandfather had, he passed to my father and now my father has to be. So we have to come to back to a place where the people who have the right values must become the people who are in positions of service and the positions of authority. And then when they become, look, you know what it is? I always say to people, it is from the head that the body draws its own culture. The values of the head become the culture of the body. If we're going to fix the values of Nigeria and the culture of Nigeria, we have to put the people who have the right values as the leaders of Nigeria, as the president, as the Senate president, as the senators, as the you know governors, as the members of House of Assembly. I always say to you, please, 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 the fact that you're a senator does not mean you are distinguished. <laughs> Distinguished is a is a kind of behavior. Okay. You cannot be honorable simply because you are a member of House of Representatives. Honorable is not a title, it's a behavior. Hmm. You cannot be called excellency because you're a president. And I said to people, I said, by God's grace, should everything go the way that we are working on it? By May 29, 2019, I will give an inaugural address, a speech. And in my inaugural speech as president of Nigeria, I will beg people not to call me Excellency until I finish my work. If I have done excellently, then call me Excellency. If I have not done excellently, don't call me Excellency. You can't call me Excellency ahead of me doing an excellent job. Yes. How can you call me a scholar when I have not written an exam? <laughs> That's a very good question. Um, in case you're just tuning in, this is Directions here on Lagos Strokes 91. Point three, and of course, I have in the studio with me Mr. Fela to a presidential aspirant. We're talking about values. Uh, don't forget, you can join the conversation if you have any questions to ask. Please feel free to do so. Go on to us at Lagos Talks nine one three hashtag directions with Ify or call zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three zero eight zero nine two 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 zero nine one three zero eight zero nine two three four five nine one three. This is coming from Owade saying, "I concur with you, sir, Mr. Fela to a value system is no more it's unfortunate that we are where we are things are the way they are because we lack value system in this climb a better and thriving family would facilitate the well-being of the country this is possible if and only if value system is prioritized in every family oh yes Let's and, uh, take... oh, oh it is really right about that lagos talks 
Hi, good uh, afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mona. All right, welcome. Uh, yeah, so good that you have um, Mr. Tara Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. Um, there. I just want to ask him a few questions. So I'll let me start if I don't have the time to ask a few. Okay. So, I really like what he's saying. I love the value that he's teaching. I just think that he's saying that I mean, the biggest problem we have in Nigeria, aside from impunity and corruption, yes. is that our value system has been destroyed. And so that is why things like impunity and corruption are able to gain foothold and continue to grow. Um, and I really pray that he succeeds in what he's doing. But I'm just wondering, politically now, how is it, how is it looking at targeting places like the North, where, where they really do not grow? Thank you so much, Lola. And and this, you're so right. Um, you know, our value system that literally has collapsed is what has allowed corruption to seem to, you know, I, I always say to people, when you find the, the person of character, they will not use immunity to perform impunity. You know, they, they, or they will not use immunity with impunity. Impunity yeah. is not caring about whatever happens because you have immunity or, and the protection of the law. And, you know, you know so, but, but the point that, that she made that is even more important is how do we get the North? And, and I always say to people, there are good people in every part of this country. Yes. That's the first thing. But you have to encourage many of those good people to be able to run for office. Look, for any area or any part of the North that you have, you have many layers of people that are supposed to run for elected office, especially in 2019. You've got members of House of Rep Representatives, you've got, um, uh, sorry, members of House of Assembly, state members, uh, you've got uh, Governor, you've got House of, of, of Reps, you've got Senate, and then you've got President. Mm -hmm. Now, even if Fela is running for President, but you have people who are not, that, that don't share his values at Senate, at House of Reps, at House of Assembly, or as Governor, there is still very little that he can do. So, for this reason, you, would, you may have heard, Lola, that I keep saying things like, I am running for a new Nigeria. And we are creating that movement and asking people who share the same values to run with us and who will not only have the same vision of a new Nigeria where things work and where people can find work because we are making things work. A new Nigeria where government is working for the people. That's our vision of a new Nigeria, where things work. But more importantly, we have to have a set of values that all of us agree will be the things that will guide us. And if you violate those values, people can hold you accountable. Mm. And they are very simple. Very, Lala, I hope you are going to write this down. Very simple, 10 of them. I'm going to go through them very quickly. Okay. Number one, make a positive impact on everyone I meet and everywhere I go. Each one of the people who we are going to run with, Fela, whether it's a Senate, at, at, uh, you know, as, as aspirational, uh, sorry, as aspirant for Senate, aspirant for House of Reps, they are all going to go by the same values, including myself. I will make a positive impact on everyone I meet and everywhere I go. I will be a solution provider and not a part of the problem to be solved. I will be a role model worthy of emulation. I will be my best in all I do, particularly the things I'm naturally good at. I will do the right thing at all times, regardless of who is doing the wrong thing. I will value time and make the best use of it. I will care and show respect to all through my words and my actions. I will consciously build a great legacy starting now, today and every day. I will live a life of integrity and honor and I will make my family, my nation and my God proud. Everyone who's going to run with me on the, on the running for a new Nigeria movement will sign and say, these are the values that I'm going to uphold myself by. And then we now have the common roadmap. So do we have people who are willing to value time who are willing to do the right thing in the northwest or the northeast or the north central yes we do the problem if is that those people don't want to steal because they want to live a life of integrity and honor yes and we are going if we don't encourage them they themselves will not want to come out you see the people who want to steal from you they don't need any encouragement the, <laughs> the money they want to steal yeah. is already encouraging enough it's motivational <laughs> enough That's but true. the people who don't want to steal the wahala is much yes. so we have to beg them we literally have to say mm. go out you we know you will not steal when you get there go how do we know you will not steal because when you had opportunities to steal in other areas in your life in the past you did not steal you've spoken for integrity so we know who you are you know power does not change who you are power only reveals who you are a thief when he gets power now has immunity so he will steal 
But somebody who does not want to steal, even when he has power, he will not steal. And that is one of the... And I know there are some people that say, man, I lie. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is because somebody is still looking at themselves and say, if you give me power, I go chop something. Yes. But, 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 uh, but it is true. Those, power does not change you. It's like, it's like you know how uh, when people get drunk and they say the person is talking nonsense. It is not the alcohol that put nonsense inside you. It's that you are carrying nonsense all the while. But when you now became drunk, yes. now all of a sudden the nonsense it is coming out. out yes. Power does not put corruption in you. But it will bring the corruption that is in you out because of immunity. That's what happens. And so we need good people yes. to run. And if you know good people, please tell them you should be running with Feladro to for a new Nigeria. Uh, and you know, speaking about power bringing out what is already in you, you did mention um, talking about even early when you were a child, there's certain things that are being done around you, and these things are instilling certain values within you. And a lot of times, people might not know until they get into a position of authority, mm -hmm. and those things begin to come out. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Uh, this is coming from Alex Gundade, but I believe he's asking a question mm -hmm. from this. He's saying that you exude brilliance and forth rightness mm -hmm. but uh, he wishes that you would head for the senate so he's pretty much asking why did you decide to head to the top alex you're still being too kind so people <laughs> said forget senate you should have done house of reps somebody <laughs> said no forget house of reps you should have done house of assembly somebody said no forget house of assembly you should have done uh, local government, uh, local government. <laughs> yes. and i keep saying you know what it doesn't matter what level it is that you run for mm. and but the most important thing is most importantly is not just about me is are you alex are you happy with the way things are in this country if not number two do you wish that we would have a better nigeria where the people with the right values are the ones that get to the top number three if not then you have to be able to ask yourself is it our children that should have the right values or we should give the right values to them and if it is us that must give the right values to our children then number four what are we willing to do now and me i have chosen my own place if you know anybody alex that is better than fella that will do a better job. Please now, vote for the person. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether it's Fela or not. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about whether Fela started at Senate or started at local government council. Where are you, Alex? Where are you starting from? Mm -hmm. You will even start with go and get your PVC. That's a good place to start. Yeah. Then, if you can take it to the next level, go and join a party. Join a party that has the right values. That is not only power that it is that there is their values. Join a party that says, we want merit. Join a party that says we are not going to zone anybody. No zoning. We want merit. We want anybody to have a free and fair platform. That's the kind of thing that my party, Alliance for New Nigeria, says. No, no zoning. Anybody can come. We will not shift it for you. We won't give you advantage. We will not give you any disadvantage. That's the kind of party. Go and join Alliance for New Nigeria. Or join any other party you want to join. But more importantly, go and serve in an executive of a party. And if you don't want to do that, then run for office. Alex, I'm begging you. You run for Senate. You run for House of... Anywhere you want to run. Alex, run for president. Let us just fix this Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And stop worrying about whether one person is running for Senate or running for governor. It doesn't matter what somebody else is doing. Look at what you are doing and do the right thing. All right, this is coming from Uhu Namure saying, I'm always blessed to see you to Mr. Felador Otoe. Mr. President, sir, as he addresses <laughs> you, please kindly let us know when the movement and campaign train will start. I want to work for a new Nigeria. Well, um, so good, good. Uh, INEC does not allow campaign to start until 90 days to election. Oh, it okay. is absolutely not right because in a, in a country where many people are looking for for are tired of the old and they're yes. looking for the new mm -hmm. it takes a while for you to get your message across sure. but thank god that there are certain things that we are able to do and i've said that i will not break my values mm -hmm. on this journey mm -hmm. so for instance whatever INEC does not allow we will not do mm -hmm. so what are we doing in the meantime we're just we're just campaigning what we stand for mm -hmm. right and you will notice that i've never said on any platform not here in talk on to lagos talks not anywhere to say vote for Fela mm, yeah. because INEC does not say, say that we should do that. And I said I would do the right thing at all times. But I can tell people what to look for. I can say, go and look for vision, go and look for values, go and look for roadmap. So, uh, so you've asked the question, when is this going to start? We've already started the journey. We're already starting the journey of telling people about the new Nigeria, telling people what we stand for, and leaving out our values on the way. So if you want to join the team that is trying to get people to go and get their PVC and all of that, it's feladrotoe.net slash teamfd mm -hmm. www.feladrotoe.net 
slash team fda one more time www.felladuloto.net for network slash team fd so if you do that you join the team but we will not we will not violate the, the INEC laws in all that we do but we would help to see how we can build a new mind in new nigeria all right we do nigeria. i want to see a new curriculum that develops young children especially for leadership let it be that leadership is what we will teach first mm -hmm, yeah. and then we will now add maybe one of maybe five five subjects that are relevant to where the child wants to go to make a difference in their lives so so you want to find a that school should prepare you for success in life and leadership through life those are the two most important things school must prepare you for success in life and leadership through life so so it must prepare you for where you are going and the impact you are going to make that is what we must do we are going to change the curriculum of nigerian schools to the point where leadership is what is taught first and you teach things like culture you think things like history you teach things like like governance civics those kind of things are important children should be learning values and when they learn values you know those values you now make sure that you're at pta they're enforcing those yeah. values you know you work with the churches with the mosques to make sure that those values are passed through into into the messages you work through with the radio stations to make yeah. sure that the values are there tv stations and then you work with celebrities and and entertainers make sure that values are in comedy the, you know we, and, and these are things that we've been doing for the last 14 years i've been working with with many of the industries and um, today the mortgage bankers association of nigeria has endorse those 10 values oh, um, the Association amazing. of Private Educators of Nigeria has endorsed those 10 values oh. Anambra State Government has endorsed those 10 values you know I can keep going on and on and on these are things I've been doing for the last 14 years for me presidency is not a it's not an ambition it's not just an aspiration it's just a way to 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 magnify and multiply the impact of what we've been doing we've been building businesses for the last 20 25 years of my life that's what I've been doing now I want to build more businesses. That's what presidency will allow me to do. I've been helping people find their, their career path and becoming successful in their lives. Yeah. Now, if you make me president, I can be able to do more. Yeah. I've been able to help people to put over 350,000 people have signed up to those 10 values. If you make me president, then 190 million people can sign up to the values. And then the world will know Nigeria as a nation of values, as a nation of leaders. Then they will respect us. Then when you go with your green passport, they will yes. open the doors for you. You know, this is how it is. That is amazing. It's it's a pleasure speaking with you. Thank I love you everything so that you said here thank today. You. I really do wish you the best. Thank you. I wish Nigeria the best. Amen. Thank you. Thank you God so much you, to everyone. everyone out there that was a part of this show. Thanks for your calls. Thanks for your tweets as well. It is seven minutes past the hour of one. I'm going to wrap up with this. Speaking about values, those fundamental foundational elements that influence the way you live your life. So every single day you should be asking yourself, what are your values or what values are important to Can you? Can I quickly just put this in very quickly? Because especially because it is your values that you must look for in the candidates that you will vote. Mm. So one of my things that I always say is vote your values. I know last last election many people are saying, oh, Fela, Fela said that people should vote for one candidate. I never said that anyone should vote for one candidate because that itself is not my, according to my values. I said vote your values. What, whichever candidate has your values, vote for them. Because in the end, you're not really voting for candidates, you're voting for your values. And those values will be what will create the kind of society that your children will live in. So please get your PVC, because without your PVC, you have no power to vote your choice. And more importantly, choose your values over anything else. Vote for your values. So choose your values over anything else. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. All right, eight minutes past the hour of one. Coming up is your favorite talk show with your favorite ladies called The Dish on Lagos Talks 91.3.